hello guys welcome back to my channel structures pro still on connection design the last class we had the moment end plate share and moment connection that's moment connection i call it moment connection so today we are going to do a share connection share connection is when a beam is being connected to a column web the web of a column so and this is the the, the side that we actually give me that when you okay let's go to view so we can see the 3d of this uh, of this um, model you see yeah so this one now is to flange while this one is to web so you're going to enter inside and be connected to the web of this column so that's what i call a share connection so i'll simply okay i will select let me use this one hold down control key select this column then go come to smart connection my code then from here i will select the template i need this is share end plate beam column flying no what i need is beam column web standard t moment and stiffen Mm. share and plate beam column web yeah this is what i need i want it bolted yes i want it bolted and i'll say okay so if you look at the preview here you see the, the beam is 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 being bolted to the web as what is shown there so we click ok see it, it passed 0 0.43 but because of this yellow color let's see if anything is clashing Let's see if any member is clashing with any other member. So that's it. So this boat now needs to be rearranged to stay away from the flange of the beam. So that's the work we do now. And the plate, you can, as you can see, is very is too thick. So we need to reduce that. So we start from beam. Horizontal angle, horizontal eccentricity, top group. Okay, we don't have anything here. Plate thickness 50 mm too much. So I can use 8 mm. That's good. Just just uh, right click and hold, then you rotate. That's how to move the object about. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, plate position center is, is okay. Word uh, size, yeah, you, I always use uh, six. Fillet weld. Connection type bolted, yes. So if I choose welded, this is how it will be to look like when you weld it, that bolt. So it will just look like this yeah so but oh, I, I need i need both then both size i i normally use metric i use 16 mm 16 mm 
uh, row of bold to gauge gauge is a uh, spacing factoring we use 70 70 is fine so it's now center to center spacing i will reduce this one to 50 so they have actually stayed away from from the flange of the beam I can reduce this further to 40 so I'm fine I'm fine with this yes I'm fine with this fine with that and the plate is not clashing with anything anymore so this we are good to go this is my moment I'm sorry share connection is share connection yes mm. horizontal edge distance you can play with these figures see what it's going to give you this one you can I'll be playing with them it has that increases the plate extension okay so we come here dxf you see the the autocad version of it which we can take to autocad environment you can export it out and clean it up as our drawing this is what it is take when you take it to autocad you clean it up this one is for the input data the input data okay this is the this is all about uh, share connection so if you if you need to make any modification this is just where you make modification and it automatically uh, calculates and updates the the results yeah so that's all about it we'll stop here and the uh, next time we we talk about the uh, base plate connection that will be in our next class stay tuned subscribe share and like then give me a comment give me a comment make a request i'm waiting for you i've been waiting for requests from you guys make a request let's learn together thank you very much